There's a real resurrection story here that I think is hopeful for people, that there is hope, that people can build something new that's better, that's good for the land, that's good for the, for the community and for the economy. My name is Tom Spaulding. I'm executive director at the Angelic Organics Learning Center. Uh, this is my 12th season on the farm and with the Learning Center. My wife and I and our kids moved here in 1999 on April Fool's Day to help start the Learning Center as part of this evolving farm that was here, this community supported agriculture farm. Uh, that was one of the first uh, CSA or community supported ag farms in the country, Angelic Organics. And we came to help in partnership with the farm form the nonprofit arm which is focused on education and training. So it's a partnership between a for-profit operating farm and a not-for-profit farm uh, education center. And our mission as an organization is um, to help promote sustainable communities. We bring urban and rural people together to work together to uh, build a local food system. There's this disappearance of the, of the farmers and of the farm communities and of the farmland. And so one of the goals of this project of Save the 70 is that we want to remove that land from the speculative marketplace. We don't want it to be a piece of property that's out there being speculated on and someone's going to build a big estate on it or, or turn it into a shopping mall or, or things like this. That land can really be a home, a permanent home, since the Learning Center does not currently have its own land at this point. We're leasing land and we're leasing this, this 70 acres right now. And now we have the opportunity to, to buy it back and turn it into a community resource again. This is the 70 acres we're trying to save. And we call it the Kinnikinnick Fields because the Kinnikinnick Creek runs diagonally across the land. On the north side of the creek, it's mainly the oak savanna remnant that's there. That's the tall oak trees and the shagbark hickories and all that. This side of the creek, used to be pastured land and then this 13 acres of the 70 right here that we're standing on was really the only tillable acreage that was used for growing crops. So this is this is the area where the families used to gather, kids would come down and swim in the swimming holes in the summertime and this was a really meeting place on the land and uh, the creek winds all the way like this, all the way across the property. It went through a whole generation after John's um, uncle uh, died, the, the, the land was lost, it was sold from the family and uh, the new owners put no trespassing signs up on it and really closed it off to the community. So it has a long history. It was a, and the land was really in this area, according to John when he was growing up, was a community meeting place. It was, it was the kind of place where neighbors would come after a long day of farming and hang out or the kids would come after school and go down to the creek and swim in the swimming hole. People hung out and gathered there. And um, we'd like it to be that way again. If we can acquire the land, our dream is that we can use part of that land to build an ecological facility as well so that we can go from serving over the next 10 years 25,000 individuals to 50,000 individuals. In the future we'd like to use that land to build our permanent facilities for um, the Learning Center and we would do that in a way that models um, sustainable forestry and sustainable farming systems. We want to bring that land back into the community and allow it to serve um, our four major initiatives. We have one year to line up the resources to purchase this land. The, seven, the Save the 70 campaign is really oriented at tw the year 2011. We've got until the end of the year, we've got a foundation that's holding this land specifically for us until the end of the year and we're trying to line up the resources to get this land. It's worth $525,000 on the open market. We've got about $185,000 to go to be able to purchase it. So we're almost there. We've got a, over $100,000 in challenge grants that have been put up by supporters who are challenging others to come up and match those dollars. And so if, for anyone that's willing to come and match and partner with us, We'd really invite you to do that and um, be a part of this. Help us save the 70 acres. Mm -hmm.